Hello everyone. Today we will be learning how to work with Google Drawings. Our objective for the day is that we will learn how to insert images and text into a Google Drawing file. So the first thing that we need to do is once we've opened Chrome we need to log into our Google Drive account. So we do so by clicking on this Google Drive icon. Looks like the recycling symbol. And then here you will enter your username, which is your student ID, with the ending at dpsk12.net. If you don't know yours, you can look at your Google login card that your leader has passed out to you. Once you've done that, click Next. And in here again, you're going to put your student ID number, which is just your lunch number. And this time, do not put at dpsk12, just your lunch number. And then your password, which is also on your login ticket. Click sign in when you're ready. Once you've logged into your Google Drive account, we want to go into our portfolio folder. So we're going to double click on our name. And we just want to check really quick to make sure that we have all four of our subfolders uh, Google Docs, Google Drawings, Google Slides, and Pictures. The first part of the assignment is in order to get going, I've made a template for you guys and I've posted it on our website. So what we'll want to do is click back to this first tab and then we're going to go to your grade. So you'll either pick third, fourth, or fifth grade. Uh, today I'll click fifth grade. And I've posted the template underneath the challenges page. So you'll click in the center of challenges. And we're going to work today with challenge number seven. That's where the file lives. Here you see just a brief little template. And you know, a template means that I have made this to look this way for everyone. Um, so what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to save this file into your own Google Drive. The way we do that is we click in the top left corner on the word file. And then we're going to click on make a copy. Once we get in here, we're going to um, rename this. We're going to keep the words my favorite things template. And then we're going to click and drag across copy of and we're going to type in our own name here. So make sure you use shift to make a capital letter and then type in the rest of your name. Shift to make a capital letter and type in the rest of your last name. Now we're going to tell uh, Google which folder to save this in. We want to save this into our Google Drawings folder. So the way we do that is we click here on My Drive. We're going to hover our mouse over My Drive and click on the arrow pointing to the right. We're going to open up our folder again, which is our name. So we click on this. We click on the arrow going to the right. And then finally, we're going to save it into our Google Drawings folder. So we just click one time on Google Drawings. And then we're going to click Select. Before you click OK, just double check. Make sure you've saved the name correctly. Ryan Glenn, my favorite things. Yours will have your name. And make sure that the folder here says Google Drawings. When you have it like that, click OK. The last thing we're going to do before we get started is we're just going to clean up our tabs here. Okay, so we can go ahead and close out this tab, which is just my favorite things. This is my template. This is not actually in your folder yet. And um, you can close out challenges as well as the fifth grade tab if you'd like. Please make sure that you do not close out your Google Drive tab or the home page tab or this tab that we're working on because we need all these. Now that we've done the legwork, we're ready to start having some fun. So what we're going to do with this page is you can see here it's titled, These Are My Favorite Things. So we're going to fill this up. Like I said, the, uh, the objective is we're going to insert pictures and text into this document. Okay. So first we need to find some pictures of our favorite things. What we're going to do is we're going to open a new tab. And then we're going to click in the search box and type our favorite things. First, my favorite basketball player is LeBron James. So I'm going to type his name in here. And then hit enter. And in order to get to the picture section, we're going to go over here and click images on this tab. Now we see we have lots of pictures of LeBron. I like this picture right here. So I'm going to put this into my file. I'm going to put my mouse on the picture and click and drag it up into my Google Drawings tab. 
Now I'm still holding on to the mouse and I'm going to bring it down here into my picture and then let go. Okay. Now we see the picture is inserted into our document. So I'm going to click and drag this picture to line up the corner with the square that's on the page and then let go. And now we need to resize this because you see the picture is spilling over into our text tab. So I'm going to first click on this side and drag it to the left. And when we line it up perfectly, you'll see a little blue ruler looking device that pops up at the bottom of your screen. I'm going to let go of that and I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. I'm going to click in the middle and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom of my picture frame. Now you see on the right side, the ruler shows up again. This lets us know that it's exactly the same size as our frame. Now I have one picture inserted and I want to show you where you go to start typing the next picture without having to go through all the same steps. So we still have our picture tab up here, LeBron James. I can click on that tab. And now instead of searching in this search box here that's highlighted blue, I'm just going to click in this image search. And for my next one, I really like cute puppies. So I'm going to do an image search for cute puppy. I'm going to hit enter. And it's hard to choose from all of these, but I really like this little guy right here. I think he's a cute little puppy. So again, I'm going to click with my mouse and I'm going to drag the image up to the Google Drawings tab and I'm going to bring it down here into the second box and let go. Now I follow the same process. I put my mouse in the middle of the picture. I click and drag till it lines up with the corners and then I release. I'm going to fill out this frame by clicking in the, in the right side and dragging it out till I see the blue ruler and I let go. I'll do the same with the bottom. I'm going to click in the middle and drag it down and we have two framed pictures here. So I'm going to fast forward and repeat this process for the next two pictures and when you when we come back you'll see that I have four pictures in my screen. Now you see that I have four pictures added into my document. We've inserted all four of our images. Now it's time to insert some text in here. So these blue boxes are text boxes which means you can type words and sentences into them. In order to type our first sentence I'm just going to click in the box uh, two times is double click and you'll see that a cursor starts flashing. This means that I can start typing a sentence in here. So I want to make sure you type a complete sentence about the picture. So this picture is LeBron James. I'm going to type LeBron James is my favorite basketball player. Exclamation point. I'm going to repeat the process for every single picture by double clicking in the text box and typing my text that I want to say about the picture. Again, this is my opinion. It is not a fact. I just uh, happen to believe that he's a cute puppy. So like we did for the other four, I'm going to go ahead and fill in these boxes and then I'm going to show you what to do with this box in the middle and how you can change it when you're done. So now you can see I have inserted images into my document and I have inserted text into my document. The last thing we're going to do is in this box you're going to click and drag across the section that says first name last name and you're going to type in your first name and last name. When you finish I'd like you to raise your thumb and vertical hand so that I can check your work and make sure that you've done all of the assignment correctly. If you'd like, you can use the blank space on the sides and in the middle and the bottom to insert some pictures and some text boxes of your own, or you're welcome to work on your skills um, from one of our games in the skills practice page. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to insert images and text into a Google Drawing document.